don't judge. Only God can judge. You don't know their side of the story. How often have you heard this before? Should we not judge people at all? Can we not judge people in any way whatsoever? What does judgment even mean? Let's analyze the reality behind these notions. Contrary to popular belief, judgment of apparent actions is not something that is outrightly rejected in Islam. No doubt, we should never be quick to judge or should not form an objective opinion without sufficient investigation. However, an apparent open sin remains a sin and should never be allowed publicly. As soon as you make your private sin public, your sin is not a private matter anymore, but a public one. This matter can be illustrated sufficiently in one of the well-known sayings of Umar bin Khattab, who said, Verily, people were judged by revelation in the time of the Messenger وسلم, and the revelation has ceased. We only judge now what is manifested outwardly of your deeds. Whoever shows us good, we will trust him and bring him close. It is not for us to judge anything of his inner secrets. Allah will hold him accountable for his inner secrets. Whoever shows us evil, we will never trust him or believe him even if it is said his intentions are good. We can see from this narration quite clearly that we should never judge people's intentions. Rather only assume that which is the best. But an apparent evil action is still an evil action and should always be discouraged and detested lest it becomes a matter of spreading mischief and fitna among the nasses. For example, if a stranger offers candy to your child, what would your judgment be despite the fact it's a gesture of kindness? Furthermore, apparent judgments are not something always under our control. It's a natural phenomenon and part of functioning human brain. In psychology, this can explain by a process called priming. Now, what is priming? Priming is a phenomenon whereby exposure to one stimulus influences response to a subsequent stimulus without conscious guiding or intention. Meaning, just by looking at a certain object or an action, our brain starts to make automatic connections closely related to what we looked at. And other scientific studies also suggest the same. Hence, an evil like robbery or murder is to be perceived as negative and bad. However, we shouldn't immediately label or claim to know their intentions either. But a blanket statement of don't judge is not applicable at all.